everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all doing great. In this episode right here uh, of the React Foundation series, we're going to be adjusting our routes slightly and we're going to fix a bug in our client-side code as well. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look. So if I head over here, uh, we're going to see that um, if I go to the contacts, it's giving me an internal error. Um, and I know we made some changes to the server side, but right now, um, you know, it's making the requests, even though, you know, we don't have a user token or anything, we're not even signed in. So what we need to do to fix that is we need to uh, add a uh, clause in our uh, logic for signing in uh, over here. So basically, we want it to like, if it's not, if you're not signed in, you go to the contacts, but you need to sign in first. Uh, so to fix that, we're going to go to the user model. And down here, we need to add an else. And this dot sign out. And then that basically takes care of everything. So now we're in this, uh, it's forcing us to sign in, which is what it's supposed to be. This is a CRM. There's no public page. Everything is private. So you need to sign in to access your data. Um, so another thing we need to do is like this bar up here should only be visible when we have, um, you know, when we're actually logged in. Like we want to have the entire login page actually just be a, uh, just the login form. Uh, like if you go to heroku.com, uh, and you try to go to the dashboard uh, and you're not signed in, you're not going to see anything. So for example, here, if I sign out uh, and I, I go to this Heroku page uh, and I click login, you, you'll see that it comes to the login page and it has a nice logo with the box. So we want to do something like this for our CRM application. Um, so uh, what we want to do is, you know, achieve something like this uh, with our routes. So uh, we're also in this episode right here going to set up the sign it the what's going to be the placeholder for the sign up page, uh, so that we can style it, clean it all up, make it look pretty. Uh, so we're going to do all this in the in this episode in in this episode in the next a couple of episodes coming up. So let's start. Uh, I'm going to head over into the routes file since we already fixed the bug. Uh, I'm going to go into the routes file and then basically I'm going to adjust a few things. I want. Um, this layout application to only be around the contacts part of it. So I'm just going to remove this part over here and then I'm going to wrap the route components. Uh, sorry, we just paste that in like that. Yep. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to add that like that and that will pretty much fix it. So now we'll have a plain uh, sign in page that we can style so that we have the whole page and we can add a nice title. We can change the color or whatever. We have control over the full page. There's no, no more nav bar on top. Uh, so now if I go to the, if I sign in, uh, I go to the contacts, which does have the nav bar. Now we're getting an error because in the previous episode we changed the server side code. So that's, you know, causing this 500 error down here that you're seeing, uh, but not to worry. What we're going to be doing is we're going to set up the uh, the place for the sign up form. So if I go to if I can sign out over here, I want us to have a, um, a sign up page over here. Uh, so let's set that up. So I'm going to head over here and set up another route. So here we're going to route path sign up component. So we're going to create a new user over here. All right. Um, so I'm going to create a new folder here. Users. And here we're going to have the index file. And here we're going to have a new.js. And here we're going to do an import. New. Export default. New. like that. And uh, in the new here, we're going to do a import react from react. And then we're going to have a const new. So if we need to migrate this over a class, uh, extend react component, we'll do that for now. We'll keep it simple. And we'll have just a uh, div sign up so that we know that it's a sign up page and everything is working. Uh, export default new, just like that. Uh, so that should be okay for now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get this to render out. Uh, so I'm going to head over into the routes. So actually, I'm going to go into the index over here. 
and do an import users from users like that and then add that into the stack over here. All right. Uh, so now we can start to kind of like lay this out a little bit nicer. All right. So uh, let's give this a whirl. So if I head over into here and do sign up, we're in the sign up page and we have full control of the page. So that pretty much, uh, you know, fixes our bugs and, you know, gives us kind of like a canvas for the sign up page. So what we're going to be doing in the next couple of episodes is going to clean up the the login page to make it look really sexy, like look at make it look really really nice. Uh, you know, a lot like this Heroku page. So I, I take a lot of inspiration from Heroku. I really think I really like their dashboard. I like the company. I like what they do. Um, I guess this is a bit of a confession, like a you know a, 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 a love confession for Heroku. So I love the company. Like I mean, I love the the product that it the the Gudu and the UI and everything. They do a really great job for like simplifying. They're really good at uh, simplifying things. So we're gonna take a lot of design cues from Heroku and we're gonna use that and create something nice, uh, you know, for ourselves for our CRM. Um, so yeah, without uh, any further uh, rambling on. I'm going to wrap it up. So like, share, and subscribe to this episode, uh, to, to this channel. Uh, also become a member on our site. We have a lot of exciting new updates coming. With that, I'm going to wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next episode.